there, buddy. This is Ira. And you gotta be very, very quiet. Because guess what I found? There's animals. You guess there's animals all over the place here. We got a whole bunch of hares. And we got chickens. There's just animals that just spawn like crazy in, in this little area. I live right up here. This is my house up here. Well, my house. This is my, this is my home base. Right up here. Um, I have only played for like 10 minutes since I ended the last video and I figured, you know what, I'm gonna keep right on going because I've got so much to do and so much to share. I'll bring my little UI up, back up here. Uh, so I did make some clay stuff. Uh, in here is a ma vessel, storage vessel, fired. Um, I've got it surrounded by dirt because I'm not sure if sand counts for making it a, uh, a, a cellar, which is basically what I'm trying to make is the tiniest cellar. So I've put these things in here. The grain will stay good pretty much forever. So we can keep that hopefully until we manage to make a corn. Uh, the berries will stay fresh for a couple of days, but hopefully for longer once I cover it up. And I've just kind of put extra stuff in here as well. And I was just going over to, to pick some more berries. Well, lo and behold, there's a whole bunch of animals around here. So that's great news. Uh, with the hares, we can trap them. Those are pretty easy to trap as soon as we get any seeds. We can plant the seeds and build a hair trap around there, and then I think we can even breed them. I think they will reproduce. If I just keep them in a pit, so I can wait till they have babies, then I can kill the grown-ups and eat their delicious red meat. So this is all spectacular news. Uh, same with the chickens. I can I can kill off the grown-ups and wait for the babies to grow up, and then wait for them to have babies. Eventually, I'll be able to make troughs and stuff to uh, breed the chickens properly in a contained environment. But for now. Just going around collecting berries. Uh, I am going to pick up these bushes now. Got the storage space. And I'm basically going to go around and do that with all of the bushes that I can find, which are not already starting to... Ooh, yeah, parkour! Yeah! Oh, not quite. All right, it's fine. Everything's great. Hello, hares. They are so afraid of me. <laughs> hares are afraid of everybody. Um, yeah, look at all these chickens! And... Do I see babies? I see babies! Look at the little baby! All right, I'm gonna have to make, um... Normally, I try to go, like, vegetarian in games like this, but because I don't know how long it'll be before I have any seeds, and I definitely won't be able to live off these berries for very long, I think it would behoove me to, uh... Oh, it's a little baby bunny! Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I think the wise thing to do is probably going to be... Oh, there's another one up there. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, folks, there were no hares, there were no animals, there was no life of any kind, and now suddenly, they're everywhere. Not complaining, very pleased. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take that one, I'm gonna leave this one, because it'll ripen in three days. Hey, what a baby bunny! They're not bunnies, they're hares. It's not the same thing. Easily confused, especially by Americans, which I technically am, even though I haven't lived there in a long time. Uh, the U.S. government makes it very clear to me that I'm still a citizen and I'm required to file and pay taxes. A country I have not lived or worked in in over a decade. Anyway, I'll whine about that another time. For now, I've got some foraging and harvesting to do. I'll be right back, folks. Alright, so I have gone around and picked up all of the bushes which were uh, empty. Which I left the ones that were flowering because ones that are flowering will bear fruit fairly soon. As you see, see these will flower in four days, so I really haven't really lost any time with them by picking them up and bringing them over here. There we go. Okay. Uh, I also picked up some more clay. I've noticed there is a lot more clay around here than I thought there was, which is great. So I don't need to panic about clay. I can use uh, some more of it probably to make some more vessels and stuff. For now, what I'm gonna do is... Yeah, I guess that, that'll do right there. That there. Um, I'll take one of those to cover this back up. <laughs> there we are. Uh, I think my next priority, so I, I made a clay pot in a bowl to cook with. I did make a pick mold, but I didn't make a uh, hammer mold yet. That's gonna be the next thing I need to make. Um, I am feeling a little bit calmer because of all the animals that have just suddenly, I saw so many hairs, you would not believe how many hairs I saw, which is amazing. Um, so that's great, but, uh, I still do need to find, I don't have any seeds for any kind of plants yet. So, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head, I guess I'll head up this way and then continue west-ish. 
and see if I can either get incredibly lucky and actually find some plants growing somewhere or find some ruins that contain seeds in the vessels, in the loot vessels. Um, and then I can plant those and use them to trap some hairs so that I do not starve. I'm still, my priority is still do not starve to death. We're playing Don't Starve Beautiful Desert Edition. It's a new edition of Don't Starve. Um, they really went all in on the graphical fidelity. I'm very impressed by this work here. Yeah, see these bushes right here? These are flowering already. In three days, these will give me more berries, so I don't want to move them yet. The other ones are going to take eight days to give me more berries, the ones that I just moved. Um, I am going to go up to where those blueberries were. Hello, little baby. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know I can't help it, folks. I'm sorry. You, you all don't seem to mind. You're all very nice very nice to me. I did notice, by the way, where was it? Somewhere over here. I'm, I am wasting time. I really should, I really shouldn't be wasting time so much. Somewhere over here, oh, while I was wandering earlier, I did see, um, a large oak tree. And large oak tree is a good sign. It did not contain, as far as I could tell, a beehive, but bees are going to be a resource that we eventually want to get. And if one giant oak tree can spawn in this world, then others surely exist somewhere in this world as well. So when we are ready to settle and we've got everything else all sorted out and we're ready to start getting into bees, we can uh, take a trip somewhere, try to find a place where there are more oak trees and stuff or possibly some acacia. Uh, acacia might be the more likely actually since acacia grows in dry areas. And, um, and then we can we can try to find some bees. So that's that's a future plan though. Right now the plan is don't starve. That is priority numero uno. That means number one in Spanish. It's probably one of very few words I still remember from Spanish. I'm so sorry if I have any Spanish speaking viewers. Um, I I don't live in a place where I would make use of Spanish anymore, so I have forgotten a lot of it. What's this? Sandstone. It looks it looks prettier than I remember. It looks like striped. It's got stripes going across. That's beautiful. I like that a lot. Nice. Oh, the beauty in this game. The beauty in this game. There's more of these useless mushrooms. It would be super awesome if we could get some edible mushrooms, maybe? Is that... I might be asking for too much. Actually, I'm surprised any mushrooms can grow anywhere on this map. It's supposed to be very dry. All we've got is the amanitas. Those are the poison mushrooms. Don't eat those, friends. Hey, hey, listen. This is a public service announcement. What's this? Sandstone. Oh, sandstone sand is so brilliant and beautiful. Oh, public service announcement. Don't eat Amanita mushrooms. Some people do eat them for a drug-related reason, um, but that is potentially very dangerous because you don't know how much of the hallucinogenic chemical is in them and how much of the poison is in them, and uh, you can die, or at least make yourself very sick. Please don't do it. If you want to use drugs, then, you know, find a safer way to do it. There are safer ways. I'm sure you can find one. You're a smart person. I know you are. And if you're not, that's okay. Ask a friend who's smart and they can help you, I'm sure. But don't just pick mushrooms in the woods with red caps and start eating them because it's dangerous. And I love you all very much and I don't want anything bad to happen to you, okay? Alright. Just, just wanted to make sure that you knew that and we were on the, 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 the same page here. Ray, uh, eating potentially deadly mushrooms. I am gonna pick up these bushes. I know I have my limited inventory space and I'm already filling it up. Uh, is that more halite up there? Is this more halite in a stripe going through this rock? This is insane. It's everywhere in this world. It is! Oh, awesome. As soon as I have some actual vegetables. Um, oh, what's this? What is this? Is that a trader? I need to go check that out because I'm not sure what that is. Um, I should probably eat these first, right? Because they're older. Probably. Oh, so beautiful, you guys. So beautiful. The sandstone is lovely. The halite just, just everywhere, mocking me from past save games. <laughs> Where I could not find it no matter what I did. There it is. Oh, it is a trader. It's huge. Is it multiple traders, perhaps? I am not sure. Oh, look at this air. This is so gorgeous. Even though it's a desert. It's literally a desert. It's still so beautiful somehow. And I love that. What do we got here? We got lots of copper. Okay. There we go. Um, 
Maybe I'll save an inventory slot and we'll start picking up the copper because I actually am just about ready to start making my first. Let's go. Let's just do it. Let's do it. I'm doing it. Picking up the copper. Don't leave any nuggets on the ground. We need a lot of them. We need 40 of these just to get started. Remember, 20 of them is uh, one ingot or one tool head, which is fine. But you need two tool heads to get started because when you mine up the copper with your copper pick that you just made, you can't actually smelt that down. You got to use a hammer and break out the nuggets. So we've got, we've already got enough for. Look at this! Oh my goodness! Hello! Hi! Oh my! What the heck? What the heck? Pot of cooked food. Zero servings in it. Okay, that's fair. What do we got here? We got, oh, we've got vessels. We can buy vessels, if only I had some gears. Oh wow, we've got like a whole little trader village here. Whoops, no, I can't, I can't afford it, I'm sorry. So you buy bread, you buy linen sacks. Okay, how about you? Oh, you've got these beautiful flower pots and urns and stuff. Oh my goodness. You'll buy clay? You'll buy clay. Okay, I need to find more clay. I don't want to sell the clay I have, actually, because I don't actually have them. Oh, we buy charcoal. Okay. Okay, folks. I don't think I can pick any of this up, right? I can. And I can't put it back. I'm going to put it down. That's cheating. You're not supposed to be able to. I think that's probably... We could probably consider that a bug. You're not supposed to be able to take anything from these uh, traders. Is it is just, just the two of you? Two traders? A little, a little caravan here. That's so awesome. And there's a cave here. It's just, it's just a little hole in the ground. It's not actually a cave. Okay. Um, well, certainly, certainly, we need to mark this on the map. This is so awesome. Uh, waypoint at yellow. Trader, traders. Uh, what did we have? We have uh, pots and uh, what was the other one? I've already forgotten. Hold on. What were you selling there? Treasure. Pots and treasure. There we go. Pots and treasure. Right on the map. Boom. There it is. Pots and treasure. Cool. Uh, I see a big ruin up here. Oh, no. I've already uh, excavated that one. I already excavated that one. Let's head... Uh, should we head south and go to the ones that I passed by earlier? There'll probably be more in between as well. Let's do that. Let's do that. We need a direction. Have, have a nice day. Thank you for um, letting me know you're here and existing and being awesome. Because I appreciate that about you. Those guys are awesome. They're really friendly. They wouldn't share their stew with me, but that's okay. I mean, they were eating mushrooms. Where did they get the mushrooms for the stew? I have so many questions for these traders. <laughs> I'm gonna check like every stone we pass by here because wouldn't it be amazing if I could skip straight from copper to tin? If I, or to, uh, uh, what is the word for that? Bronze, tin bronze. Let us set a waypoint. If I can find enough uh, tin on the ground. I didn't turn the tin up way, way high. I think I set it at uncommon. So I'm not probably going to find it lying just all over the place. However, it's originally set at very rare, which means you almost never see it. And I didn't want that. I wanted to see it sometimes. There's more halo in this copper right there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble with copper. Uh, I think I set copper to common, actually. I'm not messing around with my copper. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to spend ages searching for ores. This world, friends, I did not expect this world. Oh, <gasps> meteoric iron. Holy crap. I'm going to waypoint that. You better believe. I'm not going to pick it up because there's no point right now. That needs to be smelted uh, in uh, bloomery. Is that the right word? But take a peek every now and then looking for some more ruins. Not, not seeing any. No. Let's just keep going then. Get more copper here. Got a lot more. Oh my goodness. I think we're going to be all set. Yeah, we definitely got enough for uh for our first couple tools. So that's good. I don't want to pick up more than a stack of of nuggets. Although uh, a stack of nuggets is not 64, it's 128, I think. I don't want to pick up too many, but on the other hand, we go through it pretty quick, right? Okay, that's all. Um, yeah, look, okay, I, I feel like... Go ahead and turn that, turn that UI off. We don't need it. I feel like this world is, even though it's a barren desert for the most part, is still so beautiful. We've got the beautiful music playing as well. 
It's a perfect day. It's a perfect day as the sun is setting. What a perfect day. Just got a saguaro. What are these? Excuse me? Excuse me, are you new? Barrel cactus, you are new. Pick you up. Can I eat you? I cannot. You're you're pointy. Um Press H. Tame by breaking cactus. Completely useless as far as I can tell. Well, we'll just leave it there then. <laughs> it's pretty. There's some more halite. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna think about it. It's fine. It's great. It's wonderful that halite is so plentiful and bountiful. And when we decide to start pickling, we're just gonna be able to pickle like crazy. That's that's wonderful. I'm not mad at all. Have we found any more ruins yet? No. Dang. Man, I mean, I know this is like a barren desert and all that, but like, does it have to be such a barren desert? You know what I mean? Is that, like, necessary? Could we have made it a little bit less barren, perhaps? Oh, clearly not. Clearly that was not an option. Alright, I'm gonna head, unless I find some other, unless I find some other uh, ruins, I'm gonna head back to the ruins that I found earlier, and we'll finally dig them up and see what we got in there. Alright, here we are. One of them here. Still got a mess that I left before. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna find anything else here, actually. I did dig up one thing, right? Probably gonna have to make a new shovel pretty soon. Even though the durability has increased, shovels still break pretty fast. Uh, basically, I'm just hoping for any seeds. Literally any seeds is my number one priority right now. If you get that, it will be in great shape. And you can get them from seed, uh, seed vessels. I think you can also get them from farming vessels, and maybe even forage vessels? I'm not sure. Basically, I'm gonna break open anything, anything I find. Whatever we find, we're just gonna, we're just gonna bust it open. Oh goodness, I just picked up a skull. Ugh, it makes me uncomfortable. Cool, let's just stick this, let's just stick this back down over there. Um, yeah, some of these, some of these places will have basements this oh goodness make another I'm making a shovel all right so some of these will have basements so we need to check thoroughly because the basements have the best loot of the above ground ruins and yet oh man I might have just wasted all of my dang time from what I've seen if there's not a wall if the wall stops going down, then it means no basement. I think the guy that there's no basement. Oh man. Oh man. Alright, well, I think there was there was one more on the map, right? We didn't check yet, yeah. Further south. There's spawn right there. I walked almost all the way back to spawn away. I also see a ruin over there. We might go and check that out after as well. Well, onward. Alright, this one's gotta have something, right? I barely touched it. I bet there's all kinds of loot in here. Got a farming one. We've got a farming vessel. I left before. We got what we got. <gasps> Folks! Friends! Friends, we've got cabbage! Oh my goodness, it's one of the most valuable seeds you can find! Oh wow! That is amazing! Even if we don't find anything else here, this has been a massive win. That is exciting. Cabbage does take a long while to grow, but it's got so much nutrition. Oh, that's awesome. This is actually quite a big ruin. Listen, danger music. The monsters haven't started appearing yet. You can just chill. Wow, this really is a big ruin. Does it have a basement? I guess not. I found another ruin. Oh, I got a good feeling about this one. Does it have something really super valuable in it? Not really. It's a lot of feathers. If only I needed feathers. That's it. I'm going home. So as I gradually make my way home in the darkness here, back to my home base, uh, it occurs to me, I don't think I've actually told you folks what my goal is yet. 
And I usually I don't have much of a goal. I just think, hey, I want to find some nice places and make some food and build some buildings. And that's that's still true here. Uh, but I have a specific goal in mind with this new version. Something has been implemented that a lot of people have been asking for for a long time. And that is automation. Yeah, that's right, folks. Uh, we can now automate certain things a little bit. There are now hoppers, which can catch items. There are pipes or something like that, which can pull items out of chests. And you can make a windmill, which will uh, automate your corn for you. And so my goal, my eventual goal, which is going to be a little extra challenging in this series because, you know, uh, desert, <laughs> limited resources and all that. Um, I want to make an automated system. Oh my goodness, the cat. The cat is scratching the back of my chair. Me, hold on. Okay, cat really wants some attention. I'm going to have to probably finish recording very soon and go and play with him. Um... But yeah, my goal is to to uh, set up an automated system for grinding up flour, basically. I think that's, that's more or less the only thing you can automate so far, aside from just the whole, you know, hoppers transporting items through pipes thing, which is very cool. Um, but that's the goal. Get to the point where we have that set up and where we have... Oh, look at this beautiful place! There's my home right there. <laughs> Get this... Oh my goodness, the cat again! Ah! I'm just gonna carry on, I'm just gonna push through it. He's clawing the back of my chair just so hard. Um, I love you very much, mu I love you very much, me. He's, he, he's give, me, give me a minute, please. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wrap this video up soon. Um, yeah, get, get to a point where we have uh, fully sustainable food sources and everything. We are in no danger of uh, death by starvation. This is no one's favorite way to die. And get some automated flower grinding set up going there. I think that is a pretty good goal to have. What am I going to do with these dang feathers? I need some clay. I need some clay. There we go. New storage vessel. Actually, I'm not sure if these bony soils uh, work for cellars. So let's get this here. Surround it with dirt. Again, I'm not sure if uh, sand works for cellars, so if somebody wants to let me know, that'd be, that'd be swell. Okay, so now we've got extra storage. I will put the copper, I'll put the feathers in here. Um, I've also made a hoe head. Let's see, maybe we'll take like tools, dirt, and we can just try to keep this one for food. There we go. Let's try that. I'm already running out of clay again. I mean, there's plenty more clay around, but clay is a finite resource, and we do want to be careful with it. Put that in there. All right, that's fine for now, I think. We'll just stick the bony soil here as a reminder of those who we have, we have lost historically, or who have died probably a really long time before I came along. Um, okay. So one last thing to do for tonight, for this video, is uh, we need to make a hair trap, right? I need to plant these cabbage seeds, which are going to take ages to grow because the only soil we have is low quality soil. There is no higher, higher fertility soil just yet. Eventually we will have to use compost, I think, to, uh, to make better soil. No more papyrus yet. By the way, I have tested in uh, other game worlds and you cannot dig up the roots of papyrus and move it around like you can with cattails. So. Good to know, right? Important to know. All right, let's come down here. Let's come down here where the water is. And this is how we're going to do this. Um, I'm going to just extend this out. It'll be running water, but I think I'm pretty sure it still counts. Just so we can have kind of a straight edge here. We have four cabbage seeds. So uh, crops will grow up to three blocks away from water, right? So if we so we'll go along this edge here. Oh my goodness, this is just bauxite right there and I don't have a pick yet so all right uh, what we're gonna do I'm gonna dig a trench we'll, I'll have to do two of these oh okay this is a little bit more complicated than I had anticipated actually because I need to be able to dig down too deep and I can't move water around yet so this might be an issue folks this might be an issue can I dig down here I only need to be able to dig down two. Oh no, there's rock right below the grass everywhere. 
Huh. Um, what about here? I mean... Nope, there's rock. Right below the surface. About over this way, maybe? Rock. Oh, dear. Um, I guess I'll have to go around this sort of lake here. I was hoping to have it right here next to my little, my little base. But that may be a, a general issue, actually. There's hairs up there. Um, let's break that. Not here? Nope. Uh-oh. Well, um, hmm. Hmm. There's some water higher up over here, right? Pretty sure. Oh, the sun's coming up good. Or, well, the moon's going down anyway. <laughs> Water up here, is it any better in this location? It is not. That is, that is stone. Well, maybe what we can do here is we can bring the water out. Hmm. <laughs> Folks, this is a complication I had not anticipated. Can we find a spot where the water is close to an edge? And then just sort of drop it down. Like, what about... How far will the water go if I dig a little trench? I don't think it'll go that far. Eh. It'll go that far. Here we go, here we go. Okay, we're making this work. Oh no, it's rock right there. Oh no. All right. I can dig down here. No, this isn't gonna work. This is not gonna work, is it? If I put... Okay. I can- I can hoe this. It's got rock right underneath it. Um... Hmm. I need a pit, is, is, is basically what it comes down to. I need a pit. Uh, and I need the pit to be the only way to get to the crops. It's not gonna work there. Meep, I will play with you in a few minutes. I am almost finished this cat, I'm telling ya. Could put a pit here until... I, I'm gonna have to prioritize. I was gonna put off actually doing the metalworking. So I thought it's not that important, but actually I need to prioritize that, don't I? I need once I have a pick, this will be no problem. This will be no problem at all. Um, oh, and I also have uh, dirt set to fall, so I can't put a dirt here to go across. Well, actually, that's fine because this is too deep as well. Here's what we're gonna do: we need to surround this with blocks that the hares can't get over, and I'm pretty sure they won't spawn on sand. I hope they won't. If they spawn on sand, we're in trouble. This is gonna be a temporary measure right here. Okay, so I can jump across here. I don't think the hares can. In fact, I'll, I'll dig down on this one just to be safe. Make sure. Um, so they should fall down right here. And get... S well, and actually, I don't want to dig down here because I want them to get stuck. So I can farm, so I can farm those, those little friends there. Whoo, I'm nervous about this, folks. I'm nervous about this, because I don't want to, I've got four seeds. These are all the seeds I own in the entire world. <laughs> I don't want to plant a seed and then have it destroyed. All right, well, plant the cabbage. Plant the first cabbage. I'll put the rest of them away for now. Uh, up here, okay. Now, hopefully, what will happen is the hares will come after the seed and they'll fall down here. I think they can walk over each other's heads and stuff, though. I don't know if this is going to work out. Hmm. I'll leave it for now. Uh, and I will get to work. I have enough metal to make a copper pick. Um, oh, but I don't have charcoal yet. Ooh, the hares are already coming. They're already coming. We can watch. We can watch. The hairs uh, move quickly. Well, not very quickly. The hairs move slowly. We see three, three different hairs coming now on their way to try to eat the cabbage seed. 
which the human has placed there. So many hairs. It's their standard behavior. I get up there. <laughs> I got a hair. I got one hair. Okay. I do not have a spear. <laughs> Let's make a spear. Oh, it did. It did get the seed, though. All right. I'm going to pick that up so we don't lose it. Uh, I'm gonna leave that rabbit there, actually. That can just- that can just hang out there. Uh, and I will kill it when I need food. No sense in killing it right now, and I still have some berries and stuff like that. Uh, so okay, I need to make some charcoal, like, post- post haste. I need to go cut down a few of these trees. Let's- actually, we'll put the seeds in this one with the food. Uh, let's put the seeds in there. Is there anything that's about to go bad? The grain will be fine. Uh, this black current is gonna go bad pretty soon, but once I put this on there, it should increase the time by at least, at least double. So, um, time to go cut down some trees, I guess. Alright, I think that should be enough to get us started here. Uh, I have greatly increased the amount of firewood you get from one log, and I have also greatly increased the burn duration of all combustible materials, so firewood and all types of coal. So that should be fine. Problem now, of course, is that I have to make the charcoal and wait for it to uh, burn up. So I'm not going to be able to make my hair trap today. I will have to, between episodes, get plenty of charcoal made and um, just set up a little charcoal pit right here. That'll do. That'll do just fine. Check this out. <laughs> Look at all that firewood. I, I just don't agree with the- oh wait, there's this. Yes, if you hold, uh, sneak and run at the same time, so in this case, control and shift and right click, it'll place down a whole row of them. Alright, so we'll do this many. Cover that up. Uh, piece of grass. Give me that. And we've got a charcoal mound. Sweet. Okay, um, all right, I have some work to do, folks. Uh, I need to wait for the charcoal to burn down. I need to, um, I need to probably keep exploring, probably do my, my clay stuff, uh, make a hammerhead and stuff like that so we can actually go mining for copper as soon as possible and, uh, do a little bit more. I'm gonna do a little bit more sort of gathering Wandering around and just see if I can find any more ruined stuff. I might head north. I have a good feeling about north. I might head north. Maybe northeast, northwest, we'll see. Uh, just see if I can find any more ruins and stuff in between episodes. Get a little bit of grindy work done. So that we can finally start setting up a more sustainable way to not starve. Don't starve, beautiful desert edition. So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit up on my charcoal mound here. We'll just... Have a seat. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna smoke my butt. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this one. Folks, I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, I, I am recording this as I have basically just put up the first episode. There's just like one or two comments on it now. Uh, but it seems like people are excited for this, as excited as I am, which is awesome. So, um, yeah, keep watching, keep leaving your comments, leave your feedback. Check all the links to all my things below the description, check out my other stuff. And just generally, thank you for watching. You're really super awesome and, and I appreciate it. I'm gonna see you next time. Bye. Sand. Nothing but sand. Hot. Dry. In every direction, just sand. How will I survive? So thirsty. Water. What? Oh, there's there's tons of water everywhere. There's like lakes full of water in the middle of the desert. Cool. Um, I guess we're good. <laughs>